Sienna, what do you think of Uncle Scott's moustache? Go around here. Welcome to another exciting episode. In this one, in this exciting episode of Scott Brown Carpentry, we are going to finish the work that needs to be done on the outside here. It's all part of getting the inside ready to plaster, paint, and so on. Enjoy! So these are the horns of the window, the timber horns, and they're meant to be hard up against the weatherboards and then water, in theory, is meant to go down and then run off them. And the facing comes down over it, so you don't want any gaps between the horn and the weatherboard. And when you're renovating, sometimes you have to fill in the gaps. So when Ray and I were mucking around with the weatherboards, we had to take the facings off the windows. The facings cover that gap between the window and the weatherboards. So Ray's just been tidying up the old ones that we popped off. Now we just pop them straight back on after filling these little gaps. So this little the board needs a repair. Not the most pleasant day to work out here. Very, very windy. Hope you can hear me. At least it's not raining, however. Let's get in here. I'm ready, Ray. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Like I didn't get get you talking much today, Ray. No, a bit of a quiet day. We were, my words were blown away in the wind. <laughs> I guess that's where the answer is too. <laughs> I guess I'll see you next week. <laughs> Ladder. Oh, man, it was helpful having Ray today. Whew. He's only working the one day this week, and that's what let us get all this stuff on. Oh, he's got another job on at the moment, that's why he's not coming back. So yeah, I often, I often get into this sort of frenzied state leading up to inspections. Especially an inspection like this, a pre-line, because so many components, right? Not only is it the um, stuff on the inside, but it's the stuff on the outside that needs to be 100% complete. And like any good builder, I like to leave things 95% complete. Gives you something to go back to, you know? And 
until I realized he was a scoundrel on the road. It's a really tough hike, you know, for us. And we're like city swimmers, like just a thing. Now, I don't know who the girl... Good, how are you? Yeah. Scribers. What's that? Is that full time for you? Yeah, yeah, full time. Good on you. Yeah, renovating my own house. The main thing to look at is, at that end, the board has to go past this piece of wood. That's? A couple of mil, that's yeah. what we're hoping for. So you hold that end, I'll, hold, I'll go to the other end. Maybe like two or three. Okay, that's what we want. Okay. Perfect. Cool. All right, I'll, I'll work my way along toward you. Okay. Wind is still still here. Good news, uh, we passed the inspection, which means which means I can put plasterboard on the inside. But before we do that, let me show you how I'm putting on these scribers because it can be a bit tricky for some people. So this here is a board just loosely nailed here. I've made sure that it's parallel with the facing. So I'm it's probably hard to see, but I'm 37 mil to this little groove here. 36. I've made sure that it's 36 all the way up and I've temporarily pinned it right there. Then I grab that measurement 36 from the same point and I do a little do a little mark and then I go to the now this is a key thing I go to the furthest point in the furthest point away from my piece of wood. So let's say it's here I've already marked this one so I, I, know, I know what it is but and then I measure to that mark that I just did. And that's, funnily enough, 36. Luckily, here is something I prepared earlier. And I just, one by one, trace each weatherboard. Now that's still the easy part. The part that trips a lot of people up is how to mark the bottom of each weatherboard because the angles kind of change. Now, I don't know if there's a rule here on how you do it. I've just got a way that works. And this is that way. Now please forgive me for the internet pipe that is ruining my instructional. This is what I do. I put a little piece of plastic under here. Sometimes. And I make sure the square's pushing hard up under the weatherboard. Rather than on this weatherboard. That's just a place to rest it. But the reason I space it down with this little packer, which is about 2 mil, 3 mil, is because if I just do a square mark across, the scriber will move down. Whereas now, if you look at that, this outermost point here is kind of level with the weatherboard because of the packer that we put in. That's how I mark them anyway, and just to show that it does work, these ones that I just did before are nice and tight. So I've only got a few more to do. I'm going to do that. And then we can get some plasterboard on.
You know what I was always taught on a building site? Stop and take five minutes to clean up and then start. But yeah, I'm really eager to get the plasterboard on. But it's only five minutes. You know what only takes one minute? My ad read for Squarespace. This exciting episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a website building platform that will help you stand out and succeed online. Whether you're selling a digital product or a physical product, or maybe you're just selling a service like building, you can do it all on Squarespace. Squarespace make e-commerce simple with their built-in tools. They also make it simple to have portfolios and galleries to showcase the work that you do. They even have a video building platform and you don't have to know how to do code, which is a great thing for a person like me who does not know how to code. You can set up a beautiful website, it looks professional, and you can do it yourself. Squarespace also offer a free trial so you have nothing to lose. And then when you're ready to launch a website, head over to squarespace.com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry and you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This moment here is a moment I've been waiting for, for I don't even want to say how many months. You can watch the videos, you can see for yourself. So much work has gone into this room, so many alterations of this room. Windows moving, front doors, beams, all that stuff. Door, walls getting knocked out. And now finally, I can put this plasterboard on these walls. The amount of hours that I've spent just looking at these walls, waiting for this moment. <sighs> Let's put some plasterboard on. Woo! You always gotta make sure you don't put glue where the screws are, because that just increases the chances of the screws popping out through the plasterboard. Now this is uh, green. So here in New Zealand, all the different plasterboards are different colors for different tasks. And this green stuff is like the wet area plasterboard, bathrooms, kitchens. And this is the kitchen, but it's a little bit overboard putting this here. I've just got it, so I thought why not use it here. Got a couple of sheets. So I'll put it in this little area where the sink is. Not necessary though. Had a lot of questions in the last video about the cables being trapped between insulation and it's something we've always done so I haven't really questioned it but I got in contact with the electrician and he said not to worry um, it is something they factor in when they choose the cables technically you could get smaller cables than this for these plugs and switches but they use a bigger cable because they know they're gonna lose some performance because of the insulation it's gonna take away some of the performance of the cable so they factor it in and uh, I can sleep easy tonight. The screw gun is on my side today. Hey Spencer, could you help 
Would you help Uncle Scott? Do you know how to build? Yeah? We just got toy um builder stuff out. You've got toy tools? Yeah. That's all Scott has. <laughs> yeah, it's the same stuff. It's cold in the It's gonna be very loud. Spencer, okay. can you block your ears? Spencer, what are you doing? Are you making dinner? What's he doing? I offered. You offered to help? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good timing. There we go. Who's a better builder, Scott or Daddy? Putting you on the spot, isn't she? So, you know. Who's a better builder, Scott or Bob the Builder? Bob the Builder. I'm really showing sure uh, you. Jess, what an out there reference. Are there any builders in Paw Patrol? No, no way! Oh. <laughs> From the edge. We'll get it close to position.